Trappist-1 is a red dwarf star in the constellation Aquarius. The star is located around 39 to 40 light years, that's 12 and a half parsecs from the Sun, and is believed to be 7.6 billion years old, which means it is older than the solar system. Its radius is somewhat greater than Jupiter, its mass is roughly 9% that of the Sun, and its surface temperature is around 2,566 Kelvin, that's 2,293 degrees Celsius. TRAPPIST-1 was mostly ignored until NASA revealed that it has the most significant number of Earth-sized planets yet discovered in a single star's habitable zone. Based on studies from the Transiting Planets and the Plantesimal Small Telescope at La Silla Observatory in Chile and multiple other observatories, the star was identified in 1999. Its seven planets were discovered in 2016 and 2017. Since then, TRAPPIST-1 has captured the attention of exoplanet searchers. Does NASA's revelation suggest the presence of life on these Earth-like planets? Let's find out. TRAPPIST-1 is nothing like the Sun, as it has a mass of approximately one-tenth that of the Sun and is around the same width as Jupiter. The atmospheres of five of the seven Earth-sized planets around TRAPPIST-1 have been seen by the James Webb Space Telescope for the first time. Astronomers believe the seven planets to be the finest known laboratory for researching what may make planets beyond the solar system livable. Seven planets were detected in the area, almost equal to the eight found in our own solar system. All seven are located close to their star's habitable zone, where liquid water may exist. The planets of TRAPPIST-1 are held in orbital resonance by the planet's gravity, which may have been there when the planetary system formed. They are probably tidally locked to TRAPPIST-1, forcing them to always face the same direction toward their host star. The orbital period of these planets falls between 1.5 and 19 Earth days. The Hubble Space Telescope had previously shown that the planet most likely lacks a hydrogen-rich atmosphere, which is what the telescope has so far been able to infer. Due to its low density, such an atmosphere would be physically huge and extremely simple to detect. This might indicate that the planet has either no atmosphere at all or an atmosphere that is denser and composed of heavier molecules like carbon dioxide. Astronomers have several opportunities to investigate the genesis and development of Earth-sized planets circling a single star, thanks to the TRAPPIST-1 planetary system. Exoplanet scientists were eagerly awaiting the James Webb Space Telescope. They believe it will shed light on this unique planetary system's real nature. The JWST examines each of the seven planets using its capability to describe an exoplanet's atmosphere. TRAPPIST-1 is the only known star system with seven potentially Earth-like planets. However, Proxima Centauri, located 4.24 light-years from Earth, is the nearest planetary system. Notwithstanding, TRAPPIST-1 is one of the researchers' favorite systems since it has the closest transiting planets, which also provides them with the most looping signals. So what is Solar System 2.0 all about? The Solar System and the TRAPPIST-1 system are most likely quite different. All the planets circle their star closer than Mercury orbits the Sun. However, four of the seven planets are in their star's habitable zone, close enough to be warm enough to support liquid water. TRAPPIST-1 planets are numbered from B to H, with B being the closest and H being the furthest from the star. According to research published in 2021, Scientists gathered that TRAPPIST-1 planets are rocky and some may be less dense than the planets in our solar system. It may not have much of an impact on temperatures, given how much fainter the star is than our Sun, but it significantly impacts the planet's environment. Here's the thing. TRAPPIST-1b, the nearest planet, completes an orbit around its star every 1.9 days. That year was so brief. A year on the furthest planet, TRAPPIST-1h, lasts about 19 days. Additionally, all the planets are probably tidally locked, similar to how the Moon is to Earth, 
so only one side is ever illuminated by the sun. Despite these variations, TRAPPIST-1's variety of rocky planets makes it the top exoplanet for the JWST. Astronomers finally had a peek at JWST's initial glance at the TRAPPIST-1 system after promising work deciphering the molecules present in the atmosphere of WASP-39b. Bjorn Benek, an astronomer at the University of Montreal in Canada, analyzed and presented the first JWST findings in a symposium held at the JWST Operations Centre, the Space Telescope Science Institute. He pointed out that TRAPPIST-1g does not contain a hydrogen-rich atmosphere. As part of a reconnaissance campaign for all TRAPPIST-1 planets, Olivia Lim, a PhD student at the University of Montreal, and Alexandra Rathk, an astronomer at Harvard-Smithsonian Center for Astrophysics, both presented a paper with comparable findings for TRAPPIST-1b and TRAPPIST-1c. The JWST's first observations did not provide any newsworthy discoveries about any TRAPPIST-1 planets. Olivia Lim, an astronomer from the University of Montreal, detailed two JWST observations of TRAPPIST-1b, the innermost planet in the solar system, in a poster presentation at the conference. Her team has also failed to decipher a signal revealing the makeup of the planet's atmosphere. However, early research indicates that, similar to Planet 1G, it most likely lacks a voluminous hydrogen-rich atmosphere. The now-retired Spitzer Space Telescope from NASA more than validated the finding in 2017. After observing TRAPPIST-1 for 1,000 hours, Spitzer informed us that the system had seven planets. Additionally, Spitzer estimated the mass and radius of each planet, enabling basic estimates of the planet's densities all of which are comparable to Earth's. Since then, astronomers have been on edge. A planet's evolution and the presence of life on its surface may be determined by the chemicals that make up its atmosphere. Although sometimes the star's magnetic disturbances might produce signals that make it challenging to analyze the data, exoplanet scientists are well aware that TRAPPIST-1 data is far more difficult to interpret because its planets are significantly more minor making it more challenging to distinguish the signal from their atmospheres. However, because of the near-spec sensor aboard Webb, the JWST remains the only telescope that can recognize the signs of chemicals like methane, carbon dioxide, oxygen, and potential indicators of surface life and hints about the composition of a planet's atmosphere. It also observes how planetary atmospheres filter sunlight as they pass before the star, Specific molecules absorb the starlight in distinctive ways. Lewis is collaborating with the University of Montreal on this project. Lewis was a member of the team that utilized the Hubble Space Telescope to examine the atmospheres of the planets in 2018. Lewis said, We know the TRAPPIST-1 planets are formed of material precisely like Earth. Thus, their atmospheres might be similar to Earth's. We didn't find any atmosphere signals but we know they don't have the enormous fluffy hydrogen and helium-rich atmospheres you would anticipate. Since JWST has been operational for so long, they plan to keep returning to it to get new knowledge. It will take numerous observations with JWST to build up the required signals. The one closest to Earth's size is the one amid the habitable zone. Because they studied TRAPPIST-1d and TRAPPIST-1f, two other planets in the habitable zone will provide an intriguing comparison sample. Venus, Earth and Mars are in our solar system and have taught us much about why Earth is livable and about global warming. Lewis added what would occur if Earth were a little smaller. Keep in mind that this study only focuses on the planet's atmospheres. We probably have to wait for a few cycles before we can start inquiring about aliens, stated Lewis. The fine details of the TRAPPIST-1 system will be progressively uncovered over the following months, years and decades. Expect to see the neighborhood utilized to undertake some basic exoplanet research, in addition to learning more about its seven Earth-sized planets. We will determine if our theory of the habitable zone holds true in the context of a somewhat Earth-like rocky planet, according to Kaltenegger.
Researchers are bent on pursuing more research as they believe TRAPPIST-1 still holds many mysteries. So who is better than the JWST to get the job done? If TRAPPIST-1G has an atmosphere, what it is composed of will have to be determined via further observations and analysis with time. We hope you enjoyed watching this video. If yes, we're sure you would like this next video here. Thanks for watching.